Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim, in the Psicha, the Sefer Chavetz Chaim, where he's going through the different lavin, the negative commandments and prohibitions that a person transgresses by saying a word of Lashon Hara. You thought that perhaps it was only the prohibition of Lashon Hara that one transgresses, but the Chavetz Chaim has been teaching us there's many other areas of halacha and mitzvahs that will be broken as a result of speaking Lashon Hara. And sometimes there's another prohibition. Which unfortunately is found very often because of our many sins. When a person speaks Lashon Hara about another Jew, because he's angry. And when you do things out of anger, so there's, there's, there's one thing to speak Lashon Hara derogatory about another person, that's bad enough. But if you do it while you're bekas, while you're angry, everybody knows that when they're in a state of anger, it takes them far beyond where they imagine they could have gone. And what ends up happening? Ubishas Maisa, at the time that you're speaking Lashon Hara, and you're angry, and the, your nostrils are flaring, and the smoke is coming out of your nose, and your veins in your neck are popping out, and your face is turning red, and the more that you speak badly about this person, the angry you get, you end up coming to another prohibition of Mekalelo, you'll end up cursing this person. Ufamu Mekalelo B'Shem Afilu B'Laz, sometimes you even curse him with God's name. You'll curse another person with the name of Hashem. And this is a explicit prohibition in the Torah, that is, you're not allowed to curse the Cherish, the silent one. And the person that you are speaking Lashon about is the silent one over here, and you are coming with sometimes even with the name of Hashem, and you're cursing him in your anger and your rage and your fury of over this person, says the Chavetz Chaim, you're going to find yourself in very big trouble. We act unconscionable when we are angry. We do things that are not within the realm of seichel, of logic. We behave in ways where the emotions get the best of us, and we end up doing things that we know that we should not do. And as a result of that, what happens, instead of just speaking Lashon Hara, that's bad enough. You come to a state of kilul, of cursing another person. So it says the Chavaz Chaim, let me qualify over here. The verse means even a cherish, even cursing a person who is a deaf mute. The kol all the more so, someone who's not a deaf mute. Like it says in the Shulchan Aruch, which means that I might have thought, that's what the verse is teaching me. I might have thought, when am I going to be um, punished for transgressing the prohibition of cursing another person? That's when they can hear me, that's when they know what I'm saying, that's when they are, they're quite aware of what's going on. But if it would be a cherish, it would be someone who's considered in halacha, deaf and mute, their mind perhaps doesn't work the same way that somebody else does, they're not even aware, fully aware of what's going on and what's being said about them. I would think maybe over there, cursing them wouldn't be a problem. Says the Pasik, the Torah is teaching us, yes, even cursing a cheresh, someone who's deaf and mute, even cursing him is going to be a transgression of this prohibition, all the more so if you curse a fellow Jew who's not a cheresh, who's not a deaf and mute, they're a healthy, regular person who hears and they see and they understand things clearly, you for sure are transgressing this prohibition of being the Khalil, of cursing another Jew. And if you do with God's name, it's, uh, it's so much worse. And therefore, says the Chavetz Chaim, be very careful. Once you get into the world of Lash and Hara, especially if you let your emotions of anger overtake you, you are bound to set yourself up for failure. Rachman Have a wonderful day guarding your tongue and a wonderful Shabbos. As we mentioned before, Shabbos is a time of a lot of schmoozing, a lot of talking, a lot of table talk, and sitting on the couch and schmoozing talk and taking walks with mishpach and family and friends, schmoozing around and therefore be extra careful on Shabbos to guard your mouth from speaking Lashon Hara so that you should walk out of Shabbos as a year that was, Mekal, that was Mekadesh. He sanctified the Shabbos 
not one that was chas v'chalil mechalil, desecrated the Shabbos through his desecration of speech. Have a wonderful day.